Hello, and welcome to this series about building a batch platform on Kubernetes. I'm Mofi, a developer advocate at Google, focusing on Kubernetes and building batch and AI platforms on Kubernetes. And I'm Ali, I'm a solutions architect at Google, and I partner with Mofi on building high performance and batch platforms on Google Cloud. In this video, we're gonna learn about Q, an open source project started by the Kubernetes Batch Working Group. Q is a Kubernetes native job queuing and quota management system. It's a job level manager that decides when a specific job should be admitted to start or suspended. It also controls how much resource any given workload or namespace can consume. At a high level, the queue architecture looks something like this. Your workload is abstracted by a queue concept called workload, which is submitted to a local queue. All of these are namespace bound. That local queue belongs to a cluster queue, which is a global resource to your Kubernetes cluster. And each cluster queue has ideas of certain resource flavor, which determines the type of resources that cluster queue has access to. A resource flavor is a queue level object that represents different kinds of resources that are available on your cluster. For example, you can use resource flavors to represent virtual machines that have different provisioning guarantees such as spot that preempts versus on demand. You can also use it to represent architectures, for example, x86 versus ARM for CPU architecture and different brands and models of accelerators like NVIDIA A100 or L4 GPUs. If a resource flavor is completely subscribed and utilized, Q can admit the job using a different flavor. A cluster Q is a cluster scoped object that manages pool of resources such as CPU, memory, and GPU. It manages the resource flavors and limits the usage and dictates the order in which workloads are admitted. Q also have ways to control how workload is scheduled onto the cluster. Cluster Q has two different queuing strategies available, best effort and strict. Best effort is a default mode where workload is admitted in the order they come in, but if a certain workload cannot be admitted, a different workload that has resources available would be admitted. Strict, on the other hand, is where you want strict guarantee of workload being admitted in the order they were coming into the queue. A local queue is a namespace scoped object where each team in this model having their own namespace sends their workload to the local queue in that namespace. These local queues are then allocated resources by the cluster queue that they are attached to. So in this example, you'll notice that this particular job is created under the namespace called default, and it has a label that points to the local queue called user queue. This is what binds this job to go to a specific local queue that will be connected to other parts of queue for processing. A workload is an abstraction queue creates for your job. A workload is an application that will run to completion. Queue does not manipulate the job object directly. Instead, it creates a workload and syncs its statuses and decisions to the underlying job. For this reason, we could also use other types of jobs with Q instead of just the Kubernetes native job API. To learn more about Q, please visit the Q website, q.sigs.kh.io. In this video, we got a high level overview of Q and its different concepts. In a future video, we'll be taking a hands-on look of installing Q and looking at different queue patterns.